Seth Curry. One ten left to play here in the half. Layup off the pick. No good on the layup. Here's early. Lucas with the rebound. Philadelphia leading by nine. And now Philadelphia on the break. And they've looked terrific in transition today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Well, it certainly has. I mean, they've done a really good job recognizing any time they've had the numbers advantage, and then they've taken advantage. And we've seen it time and time again here. It's rebounded by Steams. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Austin making a switch here. Vernado's checked in. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Wallace's shot is good. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Wallace has gone four to six from the floor here tonight. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Boston trails by eight. Lewis attacking. It's hauled in by Thomas. And so they foul intentionally. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Wallace. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is get the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. I like the simplicity. Well, <laughs> there's also style just with the fact that he's able to have that kind of a finish, though. Still, I like that pretty one-handed flush. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Philadelphia leads by seven. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. You look at Cheryl Wallace. What a contribution. Yeah, he's been a revelation tonight, almost scoring at will in that first half. Real, really hard to fathom he'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but, you know, you never know. It could be a special night for him. And we welcome you back to... To more NBA action. Players looking hydrated and plenty of Gatorade to help them get their job done tonight. You look at Gerald Wallace. I mean, what a contribution. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. They've got Young. Rozier is out there with Tobias Harris. And it's Walker in at the three slot. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Rebound, Boston. Price has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And he gets the bucket. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. They swipe it. Harris passes to Rogier. The drive by James. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. This is his third trip to the free throw line. He misses the free throw. 
And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. Here's Rozier. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Rozier's got seven points. And again, Boston running the court in transition. Shots good from Young. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. James kicks to Okafer. Got a hand on it. Passed to Rozier. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Time Terrific time. effort on that shot. I mean, he's given up a lot of inches in that miss. Well, height? Who cares about height? I mean, it's just a number. Hey, you got to go with what you got. And he took what he had right at him there. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And I think taking a time here to talk things over is a smart idea. One of the things you want to do is make sure everybody is clearly on the same page with the game plan. And sometimes you need a timeout to make sure that's the case. Boston is going to switch here. Boston trails by five. It's Young on the wing. To the middle. Out to the right wing. Boston, no good that time either. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Now here's Okafor. He's guarded closely. Holmes passes to Okafor. And checking out the game for Okafor. Nine points and Five. one rejection in this game, too. And <laughs> was it a good one? Really, one of their highlights of the game defensively. And he ends up missing both free throws. Here's Young. It's rebounded by Stauskas. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. Fires from deep. Another miss by Philadelphia. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And it's slammed in by Young. Some hang time on that rim puts a little whipped cream on that angel food cake there. <laughs> it's a tight ball game, and those displays of strength, Clark, can get one team rolling. Agreed. And also the other on its heels. Let's see how this one turns out. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that <laughs> hole in the D and then go hard to the rack. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you'd think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was nice. obvious. Both teams will make substitutions. Pargo hits them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. One thirty-nine left to play here in the third. That's good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Claver. Here's Aldemir. Another shot. He lays it in. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. And stolen by Wallace. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Look at oh, that jam! Wow. I mean, just beautiful. That is such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. 
and, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. James. Shots good from Young. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Wallace kicks to Curry. And he gets it to go. And it's now only a one-point Philadelphia lead. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> So both teams changing it up here. He hits the second from the line. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third. Spiked it away. And now here comes Teague leading the break. Here's Aldemir. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Aldemir's got five points now in the quarter. Just the height separation on that mid-range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. On its way from Curry for the points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by four. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. We've got Okafor. Stauskas is out there with Marcus Teague. Then it's Malcolm Thomas. And it's James in at the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Thomas dishes to Okafor. Outside Curry. Ogier. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And, Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this, though. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself. And he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. Back to Curry. Twice the pass to Rogier. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Twice. Rogier's got four points now in the quarter. Some changes for Philadelphia. Damian Inglis has checked in for Thomas. And it's Pargo in for T. Boston also with the sub. Young's checked in for Curry. Here's Okafor. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Here's Plice. Plice. And again, it's Boston converting. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Stauskas kicks to Pargo. Here's Okafor. Rejected by Harris. And Walker with a clear path to the hoop. And Walker throws it down hard. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Yeah, Perhaps. but hey, hey, hey. He's an athlete, <laughs> and I, I can't fault him for that one. Although, if he missed it, I might have. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And, Greg, I love the fact he's always in control. Even though he's going at breakneck speed, he still maintains his body control. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. <laughs> 